Hello, everyone. So today I am going to highlight to you a week, the chemical engineering process or the advantages of having a chemical engineering process in your course of study in the UGD. So that there are numerous advantages in having a chemical engineering process. So studying chemical engineering is somewhat hard, but when you realize this uh, feel of love towards the chemical engineering, so you can understand many household cures. So whatever we are enjoying now, the paste, soaps, detergents and everything, so that has been invented and that has been manufactured by the chemical engineers, top most chemical engineers. Say, for example, there are uh, certain advantages of chemical engineering subjects. Say, for example, pharmaceutical industries. So what you will do here? So as a chemical engineer, you have to design and optimize the manufacturing process of a drug. So for instance, there is an aspirin drug. So nobody knows, uh, uh, doesn't know about the aspirin drug. I hope so. So why? Because we will be using that aspirin drug frequently. So to have a pain relief, as a pain relief, as a mild fe uh, fever relief. So why? Because it is synthesized as a salicylic acid and acetic anhydride. So what is this? So as a process engineer, when you study the chemical engineering courses, so when you adopt your uh, job of study as a process engineer, so at pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer or say, for example, Merck, uh, uh, Merck company. So you will be working on a scale up of three sub reactions to an industrial level. So basically as a chemist, so chemistry people, they will be designing a drug. So they know how to synthesize a drug in a lab scale. So we as a chemical engineer, when we work towards the scaling up of these processes, so we will be using various design techniques. So there we can design the drug and scale up those processes. So that is a pharmaceutical uh, field example, I can say. As a uh, pharmaceutical company uh, employee, you can work on design when you study the basic chemical engineering courses at your UG or PG level uh, degrees. The next one coming to the household cleaning and product. Say, for example, I have uh, just started with this video, the cleaning, household cleaning and everything, whatever we find, detergent, soaps. So all these things has been manufactured by the trained chemical engineers. So there are many companies like the Procter and Gambler, PNG, popularly known as PNG. So these people employ chemical engineers to develop formulations. So different types of formulations that will be using as a detergents and cleansing agents. So these engineers work on the optimization of a mixture of a surfactants as well as a detergent. So therefore, we as a chemical engineer, you have to scale up those uh, detergents or those formulations uh, like a tight, tight detergents or surfix cell. So all these are the detergents which has been uh, which has been invented by some chemist or a chemical engineer, and the chemical engineer will have a usual knowledge to scale up those products to the industrial scale. So there are many stages of the scale of things. Then coming to the next product, which is the personal care products. So personal care products. So there's a proof that chemical engineers obviously be employed in the personal care project uh, products like uh, uh, the companies like Unilever R and D. So research and development division of Unilever. So you know Unilever, Unilever is the major company which will be manufacturing all the household personal care products there. So there in that Unilever, chemical engineers will be employed and you will be offered with the stability of work there. Why? Because it's a huge company. So, um, so it's not a small company or a small scale company. It's a huge company. So there will be a sustainability of a field over there. So as a chemical engineers, you have to work for the product uh, stability, texture and efficacy of the personal care items such as like a Dow soap or a Tresemme shampoos. So whatever the shampoos uh, that has been inventing. So accordingly, so whatever the challenges which has been thrown by the changing environment, so that will be uh, that will be addressed by the chemical engineers when we are, they are working for the various fields or various companies. Then there's foods and beverages. So here also in the food and beverages industry also chemical engineers has to play a major role there. Like say for example, the companies like Nestle or Coca-Cola. So this, uh, at these companies, the chemical engineers designs the process for preserving food and coordinating these beverages. So all this, they will be designing chemical engineers. Then the process of pasteurization in the dairy products, in the process of pasteurization where we will be killing the bacteria, which is spoiling the milk. So which will be used extensively in the dairy industry or the juice manufacturing industry, juice production industries. So was well developed with the help of a chemical engineering principles only. So there, therefore, to ensure a food safety and longevity or to increase the shelf life of a food, so chemical engineers are must needed there in the foods and beverages industry too. And next, plastics and polymer industry. 
though there are many controversies nowadays on the plastics and polymers, but polymers and plastics, they have a huge advantage. In the past uh, uh, one century, we have been popularly adopted uh, towards this plastic chairs and plastics, whatever the plastics which is possible, we are using in our day to day life. So the development of polyethylene, so which is a common plastic, which is a precursor for many different plastics, was achieved through the polymerization process, which is designed by a chemical engineer. You know that? So it is designed by a chemical engineer. So companies like Dow Chemicals or oh. DuPont, so have a chemical engineers who develop new polymer materials and improve existing ones for various applications. So when we design a new product, we can just uh, interchange that new product or adopt this new product to the, towards many other uh, applications. So then next one is the fuels. So whatever we are enjoying now, the fuels or petrol, diesel, gasoline, all these things. So that crude refinery, so everything will be operated by a chemical engineer. Say, for example, the companies like Exxon, Mobile, Shell Company, Indian Oil Corporation Limited, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Reliance Petroleum Corporation Limited. So all these people will employ the chemical engineers. Okay? So there are two streams in the fuel processing or the fuel uh, production, we can say. So firstly, they have to uh, exploit, explore and exploit the fuel sources that has been being under the crest. So that has been, that will be uh, doing by the uh, petroleum engineers. So they are called as a upstream engineers. Then the downstream engineers, what happens when we take the crude oil from the uh, sources of deep earth crust? So we'll be refining them into the various types of products. So that products will be refined only by the chemical engineers, the skills which are required to operate those uh, uh, fuel refineries like uh, ADU, atmospheric distillation unit, vacuum distillation unit, or petroleum cracking, fluid catalytic cracking, steam reforming. So all those processes will be operated by only chemical engineers. Why? Because they will have a thorough knowledge on these processing techniques, which type of product is desired from the crude oil. So that will be entirely decided by a chemical engineer. So therefore, the chemical engineers design and operate refineries where crude oil is processed into a gasoline, diesel, or any type of coal tar, any type of fuel then. So many companies are there, uh, like Exxon Mobil, I said, Shell, HPCL, BPCL, IOCL, Reliance Industries. So all these things, all these uh, industries, big, big, um, Gigantic industries will be employing the chemical engineers to optimize their processes and to improve the yield and also to reduce the environmental impact. So chemical engineers will find the majority of jobs over there. And next, textiles and fabrication. So nowadays, we can assume nobody, uh, uh, nobody is uh, is left out without having any clothes. So people are wearing a different designer clothes. So all these clothes, all these clothes, where where we are getting this? So this we are getting through the textiles and fabrication. So what is the role of chemical engineering role? You might be wondering that. So, but the textile and fabric industries will also employ the chemical engineers. So the production of our, our synthetic, uh, our synthetic fibers, the production of a synthetic fibers like polyesters involves chemical engineers there. So who will develop the polymerization processes? So as I said, in the plastics cases, so that has been developed by the chemical engineer. So optimization and therefore the application, the textile and fabrication industries. So mm -hmm. that has been done by the chemical engineers. So companies like, uh, say, for example, uh, Investor, Investor, so which is a subsidiary of a coach industries, we can say it's a huge industry, rely on chemical engineers to create and improve the fibers using the clothing and other textiles. So there are a huge demand in the textile and fabrication industries also. And next, there's the cosmetic industries. So there are many cosmetics. Uh, nowadays, everything is a fashion world. This is a fashion world. So nobody uh, wants to look ugly to the other person. So fashion has been increased nowadays, even to the India, even the Dubai has been adopted to the fashion culture. So, uh, so cosmetics have a huge demand. There. So as a chemical engineer, where we find the application of the chemical engineer in those industries, you might be wondering that. But uh, companies like L'Oreal or ST London, so have a chemical engineers working on this particular formulation of their cosmetic products. So these cosmetic products are having a huge demand in the uh, film industry, Bollywood, Hollywood, Tollywood, Bollywood, Mollywood, whatever you say, whatever the wood is that is. So there is a huge uh, demand for these cosmetics. So you can assume how much the chemical engineers make whenever they are working in this cosmetic industry. So these chemical engineers, those who are working in the cosmetic industries, ensure the products like foundation, lipsticks, have a desired and uh, uh, desired properties and stability of the properties. Nowadays, there's a, a, a waterproof a waterproof makeup is there. So that has been done by chemical engineers. 
So therefore, the continuous R&D will be adopted. So in the old, olden days, there will be no waterproof uh, uh, cosmetics there. So waterproof makeup. So nowadays we are available with the waterproof makeups or we can say permanent makeups. So where those comes from? So whenever some chemical engineer and the chemist together, they work for uh, work towards the R&D research and development, then only this type of products will be developed. So there is a role for the chemical engineers here also. So the formulation of a long lasting lipsticks. Or uh, say, for example, so all these things will be involving only chemical engineering, chemical engineering people there. So there's huge demand for this manufacturing sector, and most sort of the jobs will be offered in this cosmetic sector. Yes, we do have to work and work at the industry, not at the managerial level. We need to uh, um, we need to work at the ground level also as a chemical engineer. So no doubt, it will be playing a clear dividends, paying you a clear dividends there. The next one is the paint and coatings. So uh, as a professor here at the Loyola Academy, so as a department of uh, chemical technology, so our four of our students have been, uh, have been working at Asian Paints Limited with an annual package of seven lakhs. Why we are working there? Why? Because we have a subject here on the paints and coating technologies here. So that is called as organic and organic surface coating technology. That's the elective subject. So they will be adopting over there. So why, what we as a chemical engineers we have to do there? Why they are offering such a huge package to the students of a chemical technology here? So why? Because chemical engineers develop formulations of paints and coatings, like uh, say, for example, um, uh, to ensure the durability and the performance of the paintings all over. So the chemical engineers will be employed. Then. So companies like um, Sherwin Williams and Axo Noble. So these people will employ chemical engineers to improve or to innovate their paints, products, formulations, ensuring they will be lasting, they will be adhering well, they will be their product can be uh, provide a wide coverage for the surfaces and resist the environmental changing factors. So uh, changing factors, they will be adopted. So why? Because there is a huge R&D investment over the paints uh, and coatings industries for them. So then next one is the adhesives and sealants. So you might be wondering what as a chemical engineer we have to do at the adhesives and sealants. So no doubt, the chemical engineer is at the companies like a 3M and uh, uh, like uh, Hankel. So they will develop high performance adhesives and sealants. So no doubt when you develop some product, so there needs to be some, having some adhesives in the construction field. Everything, there must be some adhesives, there must be some sealants. So the formulation of like uh, super glue, so which is nothing but uh, cyanoacrylate, we can say. Cyanoacrylate, that, that is nothing but a super glue, it is called as it, the trade name, super glue and the epoxy resins. So this involves the chemical engineering principles to achieve the desired bonding properties and easy of application onto the substrate, onto the surface, onto the various products. So all these things will be having uh, uh, innovated by these chemical engineers work towards the development of these adhesives and seal sealants. The next what not, like say for example, the next one is a water treatment. So what as a chemical engineer we will be doing in the water treatment, you might be wondering, but no wonder here. So chemical engineers design water treatment processes and develop materials for filtration and purification. Let's say, for example, chemical engineers at uh, uh, companies like uh, Oilia, as Suez, work on creating efficient methods to remove or uh, to remove the contaminants or improve the performance of the water, contaminated water or contaminants from the water. So ensuring the safe drinking water is available to every household. So every household. So nowadays India is in question mark to provide a safe drinking water to the uh, masses. So we can't provide it. Why? Because everywhere the industrial pollution is there. So chemical engineers, we as a chemical engineers has to address those problems. So how to purify the processes using the various materials, innovative materials, novel materials. We have to address that. So there we find a huge demand for that. The next package, so after post-processing of all the products. So uh, in short, the chemical engineering is nothing but conversion of your raw material into your value-added products. So you have to convert the raw material into your value-added product, that too on a huge scale, on an industrial scale. So whenever you are converting that into the industrial scale, you need certain packaging so that you can be advertising, so that, so that you can be safeguarding that particular product and you can be selling it in the market. So to do that, there is a need of some uh, some packaging over there. Say, for example, popularly we will employ the milk products or a milk. Okay, that will be sold for the 60 days, 70 days, 80 days. Whenever you are uh, using the uh, normal milk pouch, so you can store at most two days. So after two days, the milk will be spoiled down. So but when you store that milk in the tetra pack or other packages, we can say. 
So the companies do employ the chemical engineers to develop those tetra packs for the materials that will be safeguarding the food without spoiling within it. Like the tetra pack is the popular example you can use for the 60 days, 90 days period will be there so that you can easily uh, use that particular milk for that period of time. So uh, package in that packaging, it is very much important. So, so develop it, the development of septic package, or we can say, so this aseptic packages, packages are nothing but a, which keeps food safe and fresh without spoiling, without refrigeration. So when you take your packet, milk packet, the daily pouch, so you keep it in a refrigerator, it will be lasting only for four days. So without uh, refrigeration, it will be lasting for one day, not even a day, it's a half day. But without a refrigeration, you can able to put that milk nowadays for the six months to 12 months. So how it is possible? Because of this heat treatment, because of the packaging material which has been developed out there. So there we need to have a chemical engineers. So all these processes will require the chemical engineers. So why? Because the food has to be safely reached towards the market. When we develop in the industry, that has to be reached towards the market. So before reaching, when it is spoiled out, so there is no use. So that's why the chemical engineering is very important whenever the student is studying those chemical engineering subjects are especially important because they know all those principles of safeguarding, all those principles of manufacturing some uh, useful or value added products from scratch. So in short, we can say in every each case of these examples, so chemical engineers apply their knowledge of chemistry, process engineering, material science, physics, chemistry, and therefore they will be developing and optimizing products that are essential for everyday life. So their contribution are well documented in the industry practices and companies and R&D departments. So majority of people, those who are knowing about the chemical engineering, chemical engineering subjects, so they will be respecting you when you are having a degree of chemical engineering. So you should be feeling proud to be having a chemical engineering. Okay. So I hope you understood, I hope you enjoyed listening to this particular uh, value of a chemical engineering, chemical engineering subjects. Thank you very much for listening. I hope everyone is enjoying that. Thank you.